November 2nd was the election for mayor of Harper Woods. And um, so essentially I ran for mayor and I lost by 300 votes. And um, my total, the total number of votes that I won was uh, 943. 943 votes and uh, so I'm truly honored and humbled that so many people came out to um, vote for me for mayor and they re that my message of keeping the city safe informed and innovative resonated with so many people as I connected with them on the door fronts um, um, and to, to really talk to them and then also for the past two years to really represent um, the city of Harper Woods and um, so I just kind of wanted to, you know, kind of talk about what's next. Uh, and essentially, if I've always wondered if John Oliver's, I just realized I'm not talking to the microphone. Hello. Okay. They shouldn't tip the microphone. All right. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe I should just move the laptop back. I'm supposed to be talking into this the whole time. Okay, so yeah, that's right here in the way. I guess, well, anyway, this is just a test run anyway. So um, I've always wondered if John Oliver's last week tonight and my favorite YouTuber, Lindsay Holiday, uh, who has history tea time with Lindsay Holiday, if they combined to like their content, you know, what that would look like if, you know, those two shows had a baby and it would be kind of like infotainment plus, you know, inform informational um, explainer videos and, you know, investigatory kind of content. And I would love to delve into like infrastructure governance and, you know, the things that I've been doing for the past two years, like handling city budgets, talking about, you know, um, crime reduction and law enforcement and, you know, what, who does what? in you know a small municipality and um why are there gaps and shortcomings and you know not only our state local and federal government but overall like what is the history of things and you know a lot of people actually used to ask like uh why is it that harper woods has part of the gross point school district and um that's because you know the 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 history of the school district predates the municipality and its establishment. So, you know, those are fun facts that I kind of learned. And I just think that um, I sat down with my sister a while, uh, like yesterday, and um, we talked about, well, what's next? And I kind of had a list of, you know, three main things. And one of them was going back to, you know, Lean Global and the whole global citizen and global meets local um, perspective. And, you know, then looking at quick to politic and having those conversations with um, leaders here in Michigan and talking about, you know, politics here. And then the other thing was I had begun to touch on this last year in 2020, which was um, living earnestly, which is, you know, this whole YouTube thing that I started, which was about sustainability and, uh, you know, with being a city council person and so many of our residents wondering why we ended the recycling program, how we can get it back. Okay, it wasn't on mute the whole time. I just realized it's that was back there. It'd be funny if this wasn't on. What does this actually do? Gain? I don't know what a gain is. Yeah, I just, it's funny. I just plugged this in and started recording. Well, I, I don't know. I bought this kind of as some retail therapy um, yesterday, really hurt. And I had my crying moments and um, I had my anger moments and went through Elizabeth Kubler Ross's stages of grief, you know, bargaining, anger, denial, acceptance, and, you know, all of that. And but I, I just think that going back to some of those things that, you know, I'm always going to be an advocate. I'm always going to love Harper Woods. And, you know, one last thing. And um, I just think that growing up as a kid in Harper Woods, it, it really always made me feel safe here. I always felt, you know, protected and um, sheltered within its boundaries. And, you know, I even made the video with the drone footage talking about how much I love the city and, you know, my commitment 
does not waver to this city and I'm not going anywhere. So um, I just think I took for granted as a kid growing up here, how wonderful the city was and didn't really know all of the intricacies. Um, and then over the past eight years, serving Harbor Woods as a planning commissioner for six years and as a city council person for two years. Now I, you know, have this very, you know, thorough understanding of, you know, what makes our city the way that it is and, you know, where we're going and how to make it better. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot about governance. And so um, there's so much involved in municipalities and um, I learned a lot about leadership as well and integrity. So I'm really in awe of the city. I am in awe of the community here. And uh, I was truly, truly humbled to be able to talk to so many people. And I said, like, now I know our streets so much more intimately. Um, I mean, I campaigned before, but I kind of felt like it was, it was easy because I didn't have an opponent when I ran for city council and it was a two-year term uncontested. So, um, um, unopposed. And I did, I got out there and talked to people, but this time I went and touched every like on all uh, 62 plus streets here in the city I was on every one of them and you know we've got 6,000 plus households and you know I knocked on every door and covered the city twice um and um the people are amazing you know I, I made a Facebook post talking about matter of fact I'm just gonna read it right now um like two days before the election, um, I woke up um, at sunrise before the alarm, thinking about the houses, the addresses, the lists, the doors, thinking about the 2.6 square miles, <laughs> the 6,000 plus house, households, <laughs> and the 60 plus streets that make up Harbor Woods. I thought about the people I've talked to all over the city since July, and the conversations about speeding and blight, and I was standing out in the heat sweating. You know, and the kind people who offer ice water as we discuss small business developments in the city and, you know, the people who talked about wanted to know about economic development plans as it was frigid cold. And, uh, you know, the people who gave me hot flatbread on Huntington being invited into a resident's backyard to have cider and donuts on uh, Woodcrest and being bitten up by mosquitoes and then afterwards you know, had, um, you know, I, I was given roses. I was, I was out door knocking and, uh, you know, when, when I walked away, they were just like giving roses out. Um, and, you know, I, then after that, you know, on, uh, Ross Common was given a little crochet Bernie Sanders and I was just over the moon about it. But, um, then after that being invited into, um, into a house on Park Crest to have cupcakes freshly baked, hot out of the oven. Um, yeah, and then then on Washtenaw, um, you know, the person who was walking with me, um, they were they were giving a coat because we were out in the rain. And at a certain point, our list of registered voters got so soaked we couldn't cross off who we had already talked to or. Um, and then we, we on Manchester got invited inside to warm up and answer some questions about absentee ballots and voter registration um, in the city here and who to contact and gave them the number for the city clerk. And, you know, so there were so there's so many streets that, you know, I didn't growing up here for 25 years, almost 25 years. There are some streets that I never even really been on, but, um, you know, from the north end to the south side and everywhere in between here in Harper Woods, I have been truly humbled and honored to have stood on your doorsteps talking with our 15,492 residents in the heat, wind, rain, cold, and shine. Our city is truly awesome and it is a place I am proud to represent because of its people, their kindness, their concern, their heart. And I have had an amazing journey knocking on every door. And I'm glad to got I'm glad I got to know, you know, my neighbors better, reconnect with old classmates and 
hear about our collective hopes and dreams for the city of Harper Woods. Um, and yeah, that was that was what I wrote. So, um, and and then I, I here I wrote down that I am um, in awe of the city, and honestly, it was that fierce protectiveness that kind of drove me to want to be mayor in the first place. So I'm gonna stop here because for all I know, this Blue Yeti is not even recording. So, all right. Uh, okay, it looks like it's picking up. Is it picking up? Yep. I'm gonna stop. All right. Okay, I will come back and adjust all of this and uh, see how see how it looks. Matter of fact, I don't wanna even see this Logitech microphone. See how, okay, I'm gonna see how the other one looks our logitech microphone logitech camera oh my god that is so much better but i just think that the camera quality i gotta adjust the color because this is much warmer also yeah I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment below. All right, but I'm gonna stop either way. Ernestine Lyons, signing off.